everybody welcome back to my channel i jumped down here real quick to do a little intro this basket is the basket that sits on the floor by my desk this basket is the basket that hangs on the wall above this basket next to my desk and i say desk but i mean craft table i'm going to clean them out because what happens is a lot of times things get built up things i bring over for projects that don't get finished things i have planned and don't get done and things that just got thrown there like if i say put this on my desk and there's no room it goes in the basket so I'm going to straighten this out, organize this, and then we're going to figure out what to do next. And I wanted to come on the introduction here to tell you that today I feel like cock a duty, but I'm still going to do it. I'm sitting out the best that I can, and I'm having a good movie, and I have a good cup of coffee, and we're going to get it done, okay? So join me. Thanks. Love you. You know, days get like that every day, a little bit different, a little bit more each time. It's how I feel. Can I do it? Will I be able to do it? Will I be able to start it and will I be able to finish it? Um, it just goes that way. So what I try to do is help out the best way I can every day that I can and keep moving forward. Now that being said, I am going to be doing a major purge of all of these items once we get to the, um, the secondary stage of organizing. I've mentioned to you guys plenty of times before, I like to organize in three stages or purge in three stages really the initial is basically put like items together and do whatever you can see right off the bat that you don't want um, second thing is to take those liked piles and divide them up into more specific types of items and then again if you can see anything for sure that you don't want get rid of it at that point but then when you go to put it away you go to find a place for it to have a home that's when you have to be brutal and you have to decide, do I use this? Am I want it? Will I use it? All of these things you have to ask yourself. Now, my amazing husband is ripping up carpet um, and going to be laying down floors. As you guys know, he did um, this whole bedroom here. Um, it was his first time doing it by himself, which I guess it was kind of a by himself because... I did teach him how to do it as he was going, like I quote-unquote supervised. <laughs> but I have laid so many peel-and-stick tile floors in my life. It's it's incredible. So I was easy enough to show him. When we did our bedroom, I was incapacitated. Not as much as I am now, because my leg, of course, wasn't broken at the time. Um, or, of course, yeah, my leg wasn't broken at the time. Um, it just had a big old tumor. <laughs> Anyway, um, I was able to do a lot more in here before, but now it's a different situation. I can sit up for periods uh, at a time, and I sat up last video, which was just the day before this. Um, I sat up for quite a long day, so I really needed to take it easy um, on this day. Um, my, my leg does get angry um, <laughs> when I, when I uh, aggravate it uh, two days in a row. So this is our Dyson Animal Stick uh, vacuum uh, that really actually is kind of amazing. But Jim uses it to do a um, initial cleaning. He really does this for um, the main reason is because of his allergies. Um, he also doesn't want to find any like needles, pins and stuff like that. Just like surprise. And that would get him kind of upset. <laughs> okay. So he does all that for... Um, for to make it easier for him to rip up the carpet with uh safer i guess so what i'm mostly dealing with is the baskets that i used to keep next to my desk and the stuff that was on my desk the baskets that i used to keep next to my desk one was hanging on the wall and one was on the floor underneath it i kind of make a pseudo rack um with these great baskets and i got these from country door but they do sell very similar ones at walmart um they were just a lot cheaper at the country door believe it or not because i think for five dollars more than the big one at walmart i got three of them so um yeah i thought that was a usually it's the other way around walmart's a lot cheaper than the catalogs and stuff but i don't know life times have changed too so we'll, we'll see so what i had down there was a lot of like the picture frames and the wood plaques things like a sampling of things that i might want to like oh this would look really cute if i put it in a frame let me see if i what i have next to me without having to get up but of course now we redid the room um, with the floor so that I can wheel around so there's no need for me to keep all this stuff right next to my desk anymore so we're going to go ahead and put it with all of the liked items that we found throughout the decorating process or the purging process I should say now if you're interested um, the furniture that we have is this is a 
a calyx or a calyx. Um, it's four over four uh, cube that you see next to Jim that I've had since we moved in here. Um, the boxes for them are um, pretty nice. They're three ninety nine. Um, sometimes they go up to four ninety nine, but sometimes they go as low as two ninety nine a piece and I got them in black and smoke so I actually have two different colors um, and I like that you can hang hang these um, tags on them from Michaels these tags from Michaels if you could see them down there on the bottom of the top part of the screen are little chalkboards on clothespins um, so they just hang right on there for organizing so what we went ahead and purchased just one piece of furniture for this entire makeover is since we got rid of the couch we thought it'd be nice to get another calyx system uh, we have one that is now three over uh, well, three, three over, no, <laughs> three by four. So it's three tall and four across. Sorry. And I'm going to use that a little bit easier because I kept my flowers on top of the four over four and, or the four by four. And it was very difficult sometimes to get them down because I'm kind of vertically challenged. So now that the flowers are on the lower area, I can access them much easier. Okay. Now we also did a couple of things which you'll see in the upcoming videos that have also made the decorating life a little easier too. Um, what we had in the corner, these two corners where Jim's looking at and behind him were uh, Walmart mainstay bookcases. They were just, you know, the black basic uh, adjustable shelf kind of bookcases. Um, they were $17 when we moved in and bought them, but they're now up to like I think they're up to like twenty twenty one dollars and they're a little smaller um, which you'll see because we have one of the smaller ones too but what we had originally was one on each side of the couch and then I had one on my work table um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in another place to make them easier to access um, multiple items as well so you'll see all that in the upcoming videos if you guys have not watched Jimmy rip up carpet before, it's actually quite easy. He basically cuts uh, a strip. Now, he's doing this sitting down, even though I um, I reminded him afterwards that, don't you remember, it was easier to just uh, start it and then pull it, and it rips right across, and he forgot. So he'll do that the rest of the way. <laughs> but he said we wanted to do it this way to get started, so this way he can uh, do the sections and um, have them in man manageable pieces. Okay. So keep that in mind if you're working by yourself. It's a great tip. Now, not only does he have a box cutter, he has a pry bar. Uh, actually, he has a hammer and a little 5-in-1 tool. Um, the 5-in-1 tool he uses for a pry bar. Okay? So now he's just going to come in and give me a hand um, on some things, I think. I think this is the part where he comes in and gives me a hand. Um, if I give him the things, once they're organized, he can put them out in the kitchen, which is where we're keeping most of the stuff, like the staging area the staging area <laughs> I watch friends too much I'm just saying um oh no we just came back to yeah never mind he's going off to the next section um I don't know about where you live but where I live you either can put garbage like this in your giant garbage can but they only pick that up once a week so it usually gets pretty full of garbage in this house um or you can have like special pickup or you might need a dumpster so you definitely check your area before you just start throwing pieces of um, carpet and pieces of like uh, building materials right into your garbage can okay you definitely want to check with your um, city town or municipal okay for us they said you know you can haul it to the dump for 25 bucks you can put whatever you want in the car and just haul it for 25 bucks I'm like that sounds pretty good <laughs> let's just do that <laughs> okay what we had is this really nice pad underneath all the carpets. Um, it, they seem to have laid this carpet in 2009 when they renovated the house. Um, and they put all new subfloors down as well as um, carpet throughout the house. Uh, except for the kitchen and the living room area. And obviously the bathrooms. Um, but it's not fantastic carpet and it was a light colored gray. So of course stains show up really, really well. Um... My house growing up, when we had rugs, they were always like textured, so you wouldn't be able to see stains that quickly. But we usually mostly only kept area rugs because of allergies. So even if you have a hypoallergenic rug, you know, that means you're not allergic to the rug, but it doesn't mean the rug can't hold the allergens. Um, now, Stanley Steamer Carpet Cleaner does have an allergy remover thing, but, you know, you want to pay somebody to come shampoo your carpet all the time. 
that might be get a little pricey you know so this peel and stick floor this room we did for about a hundred and thirty dollars it's quite a bit of tile left over because I want to actually redo my craft table um, just to blend right into the floor so that's another project coming up to share with you guys I'm gonna show you all of that stuff I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it while I currently am in my brace situation so it might not be for a couple of months but I'm dying to actually share that with you because I think when I go to videotape and the floor in the background is the same color, I think it'll really pop whatever work I'm doing. So we'll see how it goes. Cross your fingers for me. <laughs> so the other things that I kept in this basket by me were like, I have two Ziploc bags full of quote unquote stuff left over. Um, you know, you rip the owl off of that bucket and what do you do with that little metal owl? Do you want to throw him out? Because he ripped off pretty cleanly. But you know, you might need him for another project. So you stick him in the Ziploc bag and such and such. So as you can imagine, there's quite a bit of things after all the years of crafting um, that we have that are in those buckets. Um, I hope you guys can tell by my attitude and my voice that I cannot wait to get back to crafting. Um, most days, I don't feel great enough to even get out of bed. Um, however, yesterday was a good day. Today seems like it's a good day. Um, so, you know, we'll see what we can get done around here. Okay. Now, um, back to Jim. Jim is actually using a, that five in one tool and the hammer to pry up the tack strips that go around and hold the carpet down. Um, but if you guys, I have a whole bunch of videos. We have a DIY, um, playlist as well as the organizing, um, Cleaning and organizing playlist has the videos in there from when we did the, the bedroom. So if you're interested, there's much fuller, um, more in-depth tutorials there. Now, if you do have a bag of like odds and ends and you don't know what to do with them, you know, you can always donate them to like local artists who do collage, uh, high school, that kind of thing. They sometimes can use the find art, uh, junk garbage. Like there's all these different uh, types of art um, what what was I thinking? Rosie O'Donnell used to do uh, a collage type of art where she used found pieces. And I know I, I don't, it's not even about Rosie O'Donnell. It's about the name of the thing. I can't remember. There's a specific kind, type of collage that uses like discarded found pieces, not just paper. Um, it uses like items like brooches and jewels and stuff like that. So buttons and that kind of thing. And for the life of me, I can't remember what it is. So forgive me. You look it up and you tell me in the comments. <laughs> But anyway, if you um, have uh, like leftover pieces, don't just throw them out. There's way too much stuff going into the dump as it is. Um, maybe someone can use it. And if you, they can't use it, they can throw it in the dump. It's on them, not you. Right? Pass the guilt along. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But really, one man's junk is another man's treasure. And it's been that way our whole lives. Um, so we're just going to get the rest of this done today. We're going to clean up the rest of this mess. Jim's going to pull up the rest of the strip carpet from one side of the room to the other. The reason he's doing this one strip is the plan is tomorrow, um, well, tomorrow from here, the next video that you see in the series will be him building the cabinet, not the whole thing, just bits and pieces of it. Um, and then um, where we put it, now he moves the furniture around. So you've got a lot of good stuff coming up for you. And I just can't wait to show you the finished product. I almost think like if my voice can hold out, I can do a few more voiceovers and then maybe we can get a series going, but let's not push it. All right. Okay. Now, if nobody's told you are loved, don't forget that I love you. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye.